All right, well, so we got top 24 quarterbacks here. We did running backs. We're going to do 24. Uh, tight ends. The whole league And almost. wide receivers are on the way. Uh, and you can get longer versions of all this on Patreon. And then you can get 25 and later coming on. It's coming soon on Patreon. Uh, so... Let's get it rolling here. Uh, I'm going to hit my tiers. Big D's going to hit his tiers. We'll kind of discuss if there's differences or, you know, kind of why we have some shared opinions. So let's go. Wait. All right. So number one tier, numero uno, Mahomes, Allen, Hurts. Again, much like the running backs, if you wanted to put Mahomes by himself, you could. Um, basically, I got all these guys up here. They're, they're kind of in the 25 points per game club. Um, um, I'm kind of fine any which way. You know, I, I would I would be fine with any three of these to, to start off with. Big D, what you got? Echo, echo, echo. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Mahomes, Allen, Hurts. It's it's same order. I, I mean, you can put Mahomes by himself, but I, I, I wouldn't because – um, that's just me. I, I, I feel like he's in a tier with Allen and he's in a tier with Hertz. Cause if I'm, if I'm in a startup, that's the, how, I, how I draft them, but I wouldn't trade up to get Mahomes. And right. if I'm in a, you know, uh, an established league, I'm not going to trade Allen for Mahomes cause there's, I'm not going to give up more, you know? Um, yeah. so, so yeah, for me, that's why I just say, okay, they're all in one tier. Boop, there it is. Agreed. Her, her, we'll see. You know, the only thing I could say with Hertz is we don't exactly know what's going to happen with Shane Steichen leaving. Uh, but sure. as Jay Wayne pointed out on our Eagles uh, show that the quarterbacks coach knows Hertz been around Hertz for a long time since he was and like in elementary school. Obviously, Sirianni is an, you know, an offensive guy as well. Uh, so, you know, sh- should should be just fine. But, you know, we, we shall see. Um, so that would be my only. Yeah, but there. So uh, tier two, check two, check two. Uh, hut, hut. Tier two for me, Herbert Lamar Burrow. Um, what are your thoughts, Big D? Burrow Lamar Herbert. Yeah, I, I I would put. I know Herbert has been disappointing a little bit the last year, but you know the injury, uh, and I think Lombardi out of there, Kellen Moore in the ceilings, the roof. We got Dallas has been a top five offense as long as Dak's starting in a lot of categories. Um, with with Kellen, all the analytical uh, guys all in one huddle here. So I think that's just to the moon for Herbert. We're going to get that deep ball back in action. We got quite a uh, supporting cast for Justin Herbert. We've seen tight ends that be really good with, with the Kellen Moore system and the Schultz and, and Gerald Everett's, you know, pr- pretty solid. And we saw that last year. Uh, and then three great wide receivers are pretty good running back in his own right. Austin Eckler and uh, a nice offensive line. So, and I think Herbert gets some of that mobility back to get him up into that close to that 25 points per game. Uh, threshold Lamar same thing was a stale offense switching it up I think it was great for him to start with but as as he matured as Roman's offense does get stale it got stale Q Monk and Q spread it out I think this is great for Lamar I think we see a bounce back if he can stay healthy and then Burrow obviously with a little bit of a scare today uh, so uh, we'll kind of see what happens with that calf injury Burrow just can't get through an off season with getting all the way through there so a slow start to last season for Burrow and the and the uh, bangles from the appendectomy, I believe. Is that what ha- is that what happened? Mm-hmm. Um, exploded, explosion. Um, so that that's my tier. What do you got there, tier two? Yeah, I mean, same concept. I'll just go the opposite. So Burrow, you know, little 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 frightening from what happened today, but but regardless, I mean, he deserves to be at the top. Lamar, I think, can hop into that tier one, depending on how this offense looks. I know that might be a little interrupt this broadcast for a hot take. <laughs> um, but you know, I, I, I think that he's got the talent to, to be with a, with a Hertz and with an Allen and, and and even with Mahomes from a fancy points perspective and Herbert's in this tier because of Kellen Moore for me, he would have been in tier tier three, but I think with that new coaching, uh, with the new philosophy, if you will, of, of Moore and just what he's done. Um, and, and Herbert's past history of, demonstrating why um i like him and not the ducks um i you know i think that he he kind of hopped up into the, the to the end of this tier for me just because i i feel really great about everything that you said foundational wise from the players that they have that they brought in from the veterans that probably will be leaving in the next year or two but also just the what's what's coming down the pipe for them i'm i'm i'm, I'm in I like yeah it. 
And if potentially Staley ever was in the hot seat or gets fired, I think it's a nice that they ha- I think Kellen Moore might slide right into this. So I think Kellen Moore and Herbert now signing long term with the with the Chargers. So yes. I think mm-hmm. maybe maybe Kellen Moore could slide right in there if there's trouble in paradise with uh, with Staley there. So uh, I think I think that's all good ecosystem uh, ecosystem ecosystem drink, Jason. Um, <laughs> all right. Next tier, I got uh, Trevor Lawrence taking a big step forward uh, again. Adding Calvin Ridley to this, who you know I, I think is is nice for him to get you know another veteran receiver. You you did lose Marvin Jones, which is he's a little long in the tooth, but Q Calvin Ridley and you got Kirk and Zay and Ingram's now signed up long term. You got uh, you know a, a good a good system in there. Um, we just saw just how much that shit is important in just going from. Uh, you know how to catch a predator to <laughs> Doug Peterson. Uh, <laughs> so skeletons in your closet to a legitimate human being. Uh, and then I got Watson up there because I think I've seen it before, and I think we'll see it again. Again, <laughs> how to catch a predator. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> this is the how to catch a predator <laughs> tier apparently. Uh, it's not funny. All right, all right. Let's see serious guys. It's gross. Um, but you know, I'm, we're talking about fantasy points and production. Yeah, uh, I like. I like what's around Watson. Uh, I like the offensive line. I think the fact that he could get some of that out last season mm-hmm. um, and kind of bounce back. Uh, and, and there's some mobility uh, from Watson, just like T-Law, which is, uh, you know, keeping them up here for me. So that's my tier three. What do you got? Yeah, my tier three doesn't include Watson. It's uh, Lawrence Murray, uh, Anthony Richardson, and Mr. Fields. In this tier for me, um, it's all about the young, uh, and the rest you know, of- the young and the restless. Yeah. The, the young studs, but also just the upside of the legs. I mean, fields proved it last year. He can, he can carry teams. Uh, I think Anthony Richardson is, is primed to do that. You know, the beginning of the season, anytime it's a, a rookie quarterback coming in, there's going to be some struggles, but I think um, towards middle to end of the season, he, he's going to to the moon, he's going to take off. And, and then Kyler, uh, everybody hates Kyler and his call of duty um, antics, but, but when Kyler plays, he, he wins <laughs> fantasy games anyway. So, I mean, uh, I, I'm, I, I like, I like he Ky- wins, Kyler he, a lot. He wins video games when he plays too, I hear, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he could, he could. Yeah. <laughs> if he doesn't Double XP thumb, weekends. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, so I'll, we'll keep it moving here. I'll go tier, tier four for me. I got fields, a rich and Kyler. So, just split that up a little bit and I obviously had Watson in there. Um, you know, Fields for me, obviously, you know, you saw what he could do without even, you know, being the best he can be as far as throwing the field, reading the field, seeing the field. They've surrounded him a little bit with, you know, DJ Moore and, you know, Mooney definitely might have hit a cycle. Uh, but, you know, yeah. ho- hopefully he's, <laughs> he's got some clean piss somewhere um, and doesn't get popped. Um, and then apparently, you he know, has been working out. How mad do you, are you if you're the running backs and fucking Kolkomek gets $40 million? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Come on. Um, but got fields up there. He does. We, we didn't. He didn't even need to really take a step forward uh, to be relevant in fantasy. And he was awesome. Um, so if he could just be a little bit better decision making check downs and on the easy stuff, uh, he could easily be up in tier three or even tier two if he can put some more stuff together. Uh, a rich is basically I'm looking at a rich, like you said, kind of like fields of last year, except more, you know, more athletic. So they say. Um, and I think. Mm-hmm. You know, there's there's really good tools and foundations there, and, and the development of the system that he's in with with uh, Steichen that was with Hertz and with Herbert. Uh, that's a nice landing spot, and then you know everything you said about Kyler, uh, I'm with it. Uh, bit one of one of the bigger uh, trade trade up targets for me, quarterback wise, Kyler uh, and, and ADP. Our ADP has him higher than than most, and um, you know sleepers ADP is even further down on him. Um, mm-hmm. But you know. Two eight for Kyler, you know. I I think we, this time next year we could be talking about back half of the season. Uh, Kyler could be you know one two one twelve, uh, you know even mm-hmm. uh, peaches and cream. What do you got here? Uh, it's for for tier four, I've got I've got the aforementioned Watson, um, and then we go Bryce Young and Daniel Jones. Those are those are the three guys that I feel like separate S- from the so high on Daniel Jones. Woo! Oh, I am, buddy. I am, buddy. I think that his uh, what was it QB eight overall last year? Um, 
weeks through one through 17 with no talent um, at the wide receiver. Well, there was some talent there. I won't say there wasn't any talent, but there's injuries everywhere. You know, I think another year in the uh, in that system, uh, day ball system, I, I just, I mean, I don't understand how you could be off of Daniel Jones out of the quarterback. You know, I'm not, I don't think he has the ceiling to be a quarterback one overall, but I think that he has uh, the floor to, you know, with, with health, with, with good health, I think he has the floor to be in that, you know, the top 15. So, I mean, QB seven weeks, one through 17 last year, QB QB 16 in the ADP. Definitely mm-hmm. down below guys like Stroud, Tua, Bryce. 18.4 points per game. So pretty, pretty good. No, I mean, it, it, it's probably higher. It's I know it's higher than consensus. I know it's higher than, than the general market. But um, I think when you really boil it down, if you just put numbers, if you just were a spreadsheet guy, you got your glasses, you put them on, and you're just looking at the, you know, the, the, the actual stats, I, I feel like Daniel Jones – should be higher in most people's rankings than what he actually is. Uh, yeah, tracks out. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else on that tier? Mm-mm. All Mm-mm. right. Mm-mm. I'll keep it moving. I got tier five here. Uh, I got Dak, Tua, uh, Daniel Jones. Everything you said about Daniel Jones, I agree. I don't think we're really all that far off. We just got them uh, slightly different, spaced out a little bit, but I, I, I'm yeah. down to get as much Daniel Jones as possible. Um, Dak, you know, I, I think if we, if we can get a little bit back to running Dak back a little bit, um, I think he's, you know, got got a very safe floor. Um, and I think the surrounding cast um, is is better than it was last year. So, you know, hopefully they can they can call call a good call a good game for Dak. The defense is definitely better. So I think I think Dak is just fine. And then to, you know, we've seen to be MVP level to in this system if he can. He's yoked up. The guys around him are, are talking about how they've just seen just a great change in leadership and telling everybody where to be and what to do and, and how to react and all that kind of stuff. So all the things we want to see from uh, our quarterbacks who are, who are maturing right before our, our little eyes and, and pretty soon he'll be, he'll be out of the house and flourishing like a beautiful butterfly. Um, but uh, so that, that's my tier five. What do you got? Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's relatively similar. I've got um, Dak and Tua at the top of that. Uh, in the middle is Stroud, and then it um, finishes off with Cousins and Goff. Um, I, I feel like that particular tier, it's just uh, there's there's some really great upside in that tier. There's there's some guys that um, I, I target a lot, um, especially if I'm often uh, when I go for my championships. Mm-hmm. Um, so. I, I know Cousins is a little, he's older in the tooth than, you know, but I mean, right now he's locked in Minnesota. I don't know what they're going to do next year. Um, that normally has me off of him a little bit, but I, I, I still feel pretty good about him. Maybe it's that Netflix show. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then, you know, the, the rest of the guys in there, I, I think they all have really, you know, um, outside of injury, right? Do, to and Dak, injury concerns a little bit there but but outside of that like if we're just talking football straight football facts they all have really great floors in my opinion and Mm -hmm. so um i I think stroud is the obviously he's the biggest question mark um of that tier for me but uh but but just in general i I still think he has a decent floor and uh and he should he he's going to have the opportunity right so I, i think he should be right in that middle of the pack yeah uh, wouldn't wouldn't shock me at all if if I mean Daniel Jones has already crept up a good bit. Wouldn't shock me at all if he has another good season and creeps up another round or two. And Tua uh, wouldn't shock me at all if Tua was kind of like I was just talking about with Kyler was right on that turn. If he can put mm-hmm. together a healthy or even you know a one eight one nine pick next year, uh, if he can if he can prove to stay healthy here. So um, like yeah. like all that, I don't know if Dak's really moving up any. Um, so no, I don't think so. Um, but I, but I think he can hold steady, and that's sure. Sure. That's sometimes just as important, you know, like, okay, yeah, for sure. For sure. All right, let's keep it moving here. I'm going to tier six. I got, uh, this is my biggest tier, uh, for sure here. I got Bryce Stroud. So the rookies, uh, Kirk golf, and I got Gino, uh, in this tier. What? What do you got? I've got, uh, I got Mr. Russell Wilson and, uh, Gino and Kenny. So tier, tier six is Russell Wilson, Gino Smith, Kenny Pickett. All right. No Gino for you? Yeah, he's Gino's. Okay, okay. 
Okay. All right. You know, like I said, we had a longer version of this on there. I, I, I uh, stand for, uh, for Gino a little bit, even though it hurts. Uh, but really, it's just he was great last year. I mean, QB five overall and just everything got better and they were playing with rookies on their offensive line. So, I mean, it's, I hate it, but because um, he's you know. a Niners fan for context and, and they signed signed him up for, you know, a few more years and, and they didn't draft Anthony Richardson right. or something like that. So, you know, I think I think Gino can can have a nice little uh, kind of resurgence here. Um Maybe Kirk, Kurt Warner esque uh, mm-hmm. uh, to the Cardinals there, um, and have a nice little back half of of the career. Obviously, Kurt Warner had a great start Hall of Fame career. career. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> it, it was it was slow there for a little while, and then it then he pounced back uh, a little later. Uh, but yeah, re- really like Gino, so ha- moved him up a little bit uh, in this one. So uh, tier seven, you ready to keep it moving? Let's do it. And let me know when Big D runs out of 24, because I think he's a little ahead of me and guys here. This oh, tier. I will. Um, yeah, technically we're going to go over it with this tier, but we'll, I'll allow it. So I've, I've only got one guy in this tier, and this tier Unbelievable. You, you could slide uh, kind of up a little bit, I think, if you're, if you're feeling pretty good about where your team's going and your win now, or if you're going the other way. Uh, you know, obviously you probably aren't looking at this name very much. He's not in your queue, but I got Aaron Rodgers here. Um, and I think and it's know, here by himself. Yeah. I just, because of the, for what I just said, like he can, I think he could slide up or slide down, um, depending on how your build's going. And I just, I think you're getting, I, I th- this is the Aaron Rodgers that you want, man. Like he's, he's out to, to, he's got a chip on his shoulder. He's out to prove something. He's given money back to the fucking jets over here. Uh, <laughs> you know, which it seems like he's in it for two and maybe even there's talk of since he gave him money back, maybe they'll give him a third year deal and get some of that money back in the third year that, and, and, a and another, like kind of one year a little later. Uh, but I mean, he's, he's out here. Uh, trying to kind of prove things. Hopefully, Garrett Wilson Yikes. is all right from this. Garrett seemed like limped uh, off. Seemed like they were going to say he was all right. Uh, but again, the wide receiver core. You know, I'm not terribly worried. Obviously, if Garrett was hurt, that'd be a bummer. But they do have you know a, a, a fairly deep receiving core of guys that I think Aaron Rodgers will be just fine with. Where you know they got Lazard, who I think he's been missing a little time. But you know, Randall Cobb and Corey Davis, which is a, you know, mm. a sleeper there for anybody missing time. And I think him and Corey are going to have a nice little rapport and, and me, Cole and, um, you know, just, just a bunch of, uh, you know, decent, decent guys surrounding him. It's going to come down to offensive line over there. That yeah. defense is good. Um, and if they, you know, they're signing and maybe they bring in Dalvin and they got Brees and it's just, you know, so, I, I, I think uh, I think Rogers deserves some love here, and, and this is the Rogers I want. He seems he seems upbeat and happy, and he's he's basically got all the guys that are all the receivers in the tree of trust. Unlike last year, where he kept all those guys seemingly kind of at arm's reach. So I got Rogers by himself here. What do you got? Look at how many years this man's been in the league. <laughs> I know. You know, it's a lot when you have to scroll and sleep. Yeah, you gotta scroll down. <laughs> there was a, uh, there was like a Jordan Love period here of nothing. Yeah. <laughs> What do you got, Big D, for Tier 7? I have Mac Jones, Carr, Rogers, Purdy. That's, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm not as high on Rogers as you are. I, I, I like everything you're saying. I, I completely understand that. I think most of that, to me, is ceiling with Rogers. I think there's, there's a little bit lower floor than, um, than, than, than we want to give him credit for. Uh, but who knows? I, you know, I, he, he could, could, completely proved me wrong and I'd, I'd be okay with it I, I don't i don't really have the i'm not against uh fish eyes i'm not against aaron Rodgers at all i just <laughs> um i i just i just feel i something in my down in my plums is telling me that um not not to get too excited about Rodgers. so um and that and that's kind of why i have him in the vanilla vanilla tier with purdy Carr and and uh jones i i think all all of those guys are kind of vanilla to me um i think they have <clears throat> They all have upside. They all could outperform, you know, Derek Carr leaving, going into a new office. There's a lot of question marks, but he's going from Devonte Adams is, is tremendous, but he's also a little older and he's going, he gets Chris Olave. So, I mean, you know, that's, it's, right. it's not too bad of a trade. And Mac Jones is, has an offensive coordinator this year. And <laughs> Purdy, I think has a, you know, an, uh, an, an elbow that's, that's going to be heel and um, be able to throw the ball again. And so for, for me, all three of them have, uh, uh, 
good outlooks with potential of low end floors. So I tend to agree uh, for the most part. Um, my my uh, I'm going to keep it moving uh, and I got some of those other guys. So I'll I'll kind of talk about them. But I wanted to circle back to some of the guys you had a little higher. So I had that that Rogers tier and then uh, I got Russ, Kenny and Purdy and Stafford uh, in this next tier here. Um, so, you know, we didn't really talk about Russell. We didn't really talk about Kenny. Uh, and I think, you know, Brock from week 15 to uh, week 18, when he was kind of in there playing, Brock was you know, 17.8 points per game uh, as, as of, you know, a last round rookie pick who didn't get the off season, all that jazz. Obviously, there is a little bit of an elbow concern there, but operated the Niners offense to the extent that we hadn't really seen it operated uh in a minute here and no no shade on jimmy jimmy won and i could operate the offense fine but it seemed to go to a different level uh with brock uh just even if you take all the stats out of i know nobody likes it but visually uh just looked like it was really hard much harder to defend and guess what they were doing it felt like it opened up a little bit so i got brock up there stafford in there for me uh because similar to aaron Rodgers, just last year or just two years ago in uh in 2021 i mean stafford i believe was uh qb5 and averaging 20 points a game 346 points overall and you know last year was coming in and and we kind of knew that something was a little weird there um but i think if you're going if you're going in the directions much like the rogers you could slide stafford down a few tiers and i'd be fine with it but if you're going in a win now uh situation and and you need a quarterback uh i'm fine with stafford stafford's going at 10 5 so a lot lower than some of these guys in the tier i'm not saying you need to reach up real high i just love the prospect of of matthew stafford i think like stated in the running backs uh video that i think this rams offense is going to be just fine um mm -hmm. this year and, and, and be able to put up points as the defense we may have to worry about um you know, and Kenny, I think Kenny is in for a, a Daniel Jones like ascension here. I think the rushing athleticism uh, could be where Daniel Jones is. And he kind of alluded to that on the Chris Long podcast um, that that he can do that a little more. And he's just surrounded by a bunch of the offensive lines better. He's been with Canada now, even though we don't like it for another season. He gets the whole offseason to him. It's his offense. He kind of said at the end of the year that it, he really came into feeling like it was his offense and that that he had control of what was going on. So like Kenny and then Russ, I mean, you, you heard Sean Payton yesterday just <laughs> Just flame throwing yeah. uh, just everything that was going on with Denver. Uh, so I think Russ still has, uh, you know, some some gas in the tank to cook um, <laughs> some propane. He's yeah. got some propane left. Uh, so, you know, that's that's kind of where I have that tier kind of kind of panning out. So I think that's my top 24. Right. I know. I, I think you went a little. I think you went one one extra. All right. So no, no car, Mac. Love or Lance, they're, they'd be in the next tier uh, for me. And it's basically like, you know, how, how could I like Lance has the most opportunity to charge up the if if, if there's any movement or he starts oh, or whatever, movement. how, you know, that he's probably got the most upside of move up. Right. Got a drink. So movement. it's on the board. But how could I how could I do much with Lance when I just I, I haven't seen anything? You know, I yeah. like him. I've, I've hung around. I've stuck by him. I think he could be just fine. Um, but I, I gotta, I gotta have him down a little lower. It's, it's basically the same thing with love. We haven't really seen anything. I love love. Um, but you know, I don't, I don't love Jordan love all that much. So it's a fun swing. Yeah. Um, anyway, anything else, big D? No, I think you covered it. I mean, if, if, you know, this is the, the, the short form, if you will, if you want the long form, if you want some of that digging, if you want to get in the dirt and find those yummy worms, uh, you know, you got to hop over to where? Patreon.com backslash the FF Dynasty. Mm, get access to Discord, the FFD ADP. Uh, extra shows every month, like three extra shows a month. One of them is a live hang. Uh, we got all kind of shit over there. A lot of we, you've, you've, you've heard some of the division talk on YouTube and in the podcast, but there's more divisions over on Patreon. They're going to get the uh, back. I mean, obviously, there's not a ton more quarterbacks, but you're going to get, you know, 25 through 50 or so for wide receivers and running backs and you know tight ends maybe you don't really care about those but be a little bit more rankings discussion and then you'll be able to keep track of when we're updating tiers which we'll try to do once a month 
Um, so a lot of good stuff over there. You can get some t-shirts at RevelryBrewCo.com if you want to support that way. If you don't want to support any way, like some sort of cheapskate. At least it like and subscribe. Like, subscribe. Uh, five-star five review, star review on the podcast. For real, though, we appreciate all you guys. Uh, we see you out there. We see, the, we see the numbers on the podcast. We see the numbers on the YouTube. Uh, a, lot, a lot of love coming back. We appreciate you guys. Um, and we will we will catch you soon here. We're going to be hitting some redraft uh, slow clocks with the, with the patrons. And then we'll do some live redraft stuff to get a little ADP built for that to share with everybody just to kind of get you ready for redraft because that still does exist um you know i know i'm in a couple so got to um get a little bit of that in so stay tuned subscribe uh and you know tip your waiters and waitresses but not the people like everybody's asking for tips these days it's kind of fucking weird tip don't Um, don't tip the kiosk yeah (laughs) yeah the humans don't tip (laughs) the robots please (laughs) that's a good point yeah Everybody Not that I, I like tipping. I'm a big love tipping. Tipping's like free karma. Or yeah. You're buying karma, basically. It's like, love it's like tipping. Purchasable karma. Don't yeah. be a dickhead. Right. Go f- tell people you love the, the, the Go tell your loved ones you love them, too. I, I mean, worked at good, good, like good a, a really nice hotel, and it would always blow my mind that people would come in here and, like, stiff the kind of front of the house guys and i'm like you do realize that if you just like took care of me and we're cool like i could make this stay fucking awesome like i know a bunch of people all over the town and i could tell you exactly where to go what to do tell me what you're into but instead i'm gonna go in your car go as fast as i can in the parking garage and slam it in the park because you're an <laughs> asshole and you're hundred and twenty thousand dollar s550 like you can't tip five to ten bucks like what are you doing yeah and for all you that live out of the u.s uh, we have a tipping culture, as you could tell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll go to Europe. I'll still tip. I'm like, you can dislike me for giving you money if you'd like to. Okay. <laughs> fucking kind of what's going on around here. I just tip in cigarettes over there. Like, yeah, jail. if you just throw a couple <laughs> cigs there, like, oh, thanks, sir. <laughs> got a pack of those Fritos still? Or? He didn't tip you, did he? No, but he gave me a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> I was almost out. <laughs> All right. We appreciate y'all. We got to get out of here. I really want to make a joke here, but uh, <laughs> Mike, I canceled for it. So. Peace. <laughs>